Hello and welcome to another HTML canvas tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to draw quadratic curves. So um, here we have a line and then a quadratic curve and then another line. So there's a quad quadratic curve between these two lines and that curve is defined by a uh, context point, a control point and an ending point. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the code here. We're going to um, make the code here in Sublime Text. So first thing that we need to do is actually create the canvas in the body section of the page. So <clears throat> we'll add a canvas and we'll give it an ID. We'll call it My Canvas. And we'll specify the width equal to 500 and the height. Uh, we'll make that 350. Okay, and then we'll apply a style in the head section of the page for this canvas. Okay, so we'll refer to the canvas by its ID. And the only style that we'll add here is just a border so we can see where the canvas is. So one pixel, solid and black for the border. Okay, all right, going back to the body section of the web page, we're going to add the opening and closing script tags here so we can add some JavaScript code between them. So we'll create a function called draw and this function will actually draw the lines and the curve on the canvas. All right, so first thing we need to do is set it up um, using the document.getElementById method. Um, we're going to set it up so that we can use the different um, properties for our canvas drawing. So we'll say var ctx equals document dot get element by ID and we'll refer to the ID of my canvas and then we'll say uh, get context 2D and end that with semicolon. So now we have access to all the different properties that we want to use. So we'll um, start by drawing the line at the top. So we'll start by drawing this line and we'll um, use the ctx.move2 properties to specify where the line will begin and then the line2 property to specify where the line will end. So we'll say ctx.move2 to begin the line and that will be in an x position of 50 and a y position of 50. Then we'll say ctx.line2 and that will be in an x position of 300. So it's, the line is moving from left to right and a y position of 50 so it's still on the same um, line it hasn't hasn't gone up or down anywhere okay so we've got our line there and now we need to create the curve first thing that we'll do though outside this function we'll just add the window dot on load um, method here so we'll say window dot on load equals draw so we'll have an event there which basically load this script when the page loads. So ctx dot stroke to actually draw that line. Refresh, there we go. Okay, so that's our line. All right, this is what we want it to look like in the end. And this is what we've got so far. So the next thing to do is specify the curve. Now we've already specified where the curve will begin because it's going to begin where this line ends. Okay, but now we need to use so that, that's going to be the context point where that line ends. But now we need to specify the control point, the X and Y positions, and the end point, the X and Y positions. So we're going to start with ctx dot quadratic, quadratic curve 2. And I'll just add a comment here so we know what goes inside these brackets. So we've got control point X, control point y and then x and y for the uh, ending points for the ending point okay all right so control point x control point y and then the x and y position for the ending point so control point x will be 300 control point y position will be 100 and then the x position of the ending point will be 350 and the Y position will be 100. Okay, 
All right, let's just check if there's any typos here. Uh, so we've got, oh, there we go. Quadratic, not quadratic. All right, so save and refresh. Let's fix up that typo. All right, there we go. So that's what it's gonna look like. And this is what we have so far. So we have our quadratic curve there. All right, so we've specified um, the context point already where we where we use ctx.line2 and we said x position of 300 and y position of uh, 50. That's the context point. So that's where this quadratic curve begins. And then we specify the control point x and control point y. So x being 300 and so down, so 300 and the y position being 100. So the control point is about here. Okay, so right there, the x and y positions for the control point. And then lastly, we specify the ending point, the x and y position, which was 350 and 100. So that's over here. All right, so we've got context point, control point, and ending point. All right, now we're just going to add that last line. So we'll say ctx.line2, and um, then we'll say 350 for the x position, X position, so the X position won't change from where it currently is, but the line will move down the canvas to the Y position of 200. So this line will now go from here down to here. Refresh, there we go. All right, so that is how to create a quadratic curve using the HTML canvas. Just remember that you need to specify the context point so um, there's three things we need, the context point or the beginning point, a control point, and then an ending point to create that curve. Okay, so the quadratic curve only has one control point. Um, we can use the Bezier curves if we want to have more than one control point, if we want to have two control points. Okay, thanks for watching.